I thank you for the opportunity to highlight my hopes for any transportation and infrastructure package. As the chair of the subcommittee on worker and family support within the Committee on Ways and Means, I am particularly interested in ensuring that any federal investment in transportation and infrastructure includes underrepresented and vulnerable workers. There are multiple communities of vulnerable workers who could benefit from inclusion of a priority within infrastructure work programs, including former foster youth, youth job corps and youth build trainees, disconnected youth, non-custodial parents involved with child support, returning citizens, and workers in the SNAP able-bodied adults dependence program. Aiding these vulnerable workers in connecting to infrastructure programs will help set them on a quality career path and increase their involvement with the labor force. For example, the Department of Transportation has had the Ladders of Opportunity Initiative to Im improve the apprenticeship and training opportunities for underrepresented or disadvantaged workers seeking careers in transportation, engineering, or construction. Perhaps the committee could prioritize this or other similar programs to include vulnerable workers in contracts or cooperative agreements so that they too can benefit from any federal investment in infrastructure. In addition, I ask the committee's consideration for protecting funds to help low-income workers get to jobs. In my city of Chicago, many low-income workers have trouble getting from the city to jobs in the suburban communities. There often are not buses to these jobs, or if there are buses, they can have long travel times and leave before working parents can make use of them. I worked closely with United Parcel to set up a program to help Chicago residents get to Hodgkins, Illinois, about 30 miles away. These programs are a lifeline for my constituents so that they can access quality jobs. I'm very interested in funds to provide transportation for low-income rural and urban workers get into where the jobs are. I know that the Jobs Access and Reverse Commute Program, or JARC, was designed to do just that, but these funds were folded into other broader programs that has likely decreased their dedication to help commuters. I hope that the committee will consider protecting some funds to help workers get to the jobs perhaps by pulling JARC back out or by establishing a floor or different approach to dedicate jobs to these commuter assistance efforts that are flexible to meet workers' needs. Furthermore, as you all know, local area multiple infrastructure needs, including school construction. I know there is an annual state and local spending gap of $46 billion a year on school facilities. As of December 2015, Chicago Public Schools reported $3.4 billion in total need, with $1.8 billion in critical need. I hope that the committee will consider a broad definition of infrastructure to accommodate school construction. And finally, we have this unique opportunity to invest and develop cleaner technologies through direct investment or using the tax code. I look forward to working with to the committee to improve our infrastructure. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and you're back. Thank you, Mr. Davis. Any questions for Mr. Davis?